Hey, John Cruz, and I've got in my hand the old ball and chain. That's right, it's the Carolina rig. A lot of people have forgotten about the Carolina rig. It is an extremely effective technique for largemouth, and it's very underrated for smallmouth too. I catch a lot of smallmouth on the old Carolina rig. Uh, let me just kind of walk you through my setup, what I, what I put it on, and kind of how, how I use it and how I utilize it, and hopefully you can uh, figure out how to put it back into your repertoire of uh, how, to, how to catch fish with it. Uh, I, I start off with a, a medium heavy, seven foot three inch cashing, uh, bait casting rod. Uh, I like that medium heavy. I don't want a heavy, I don't want a flipping stick. I want something with some taper to it. Um, it's got a softer tip and I wanna um, have a high speed reel. You want a real high speed reel because when those fish bite you, you wanna be able to reel up as much slack as quickly as possible. You're not moving the bait with the reel you're gonna move it with the rod, so that's not a concern on, on the actual moving of the, of the bait. So I've got a super high speed reel, seven plus one to uh, ratio reel. And then on my main line, I've got Sunline Shooter. I usually start with 20 pound test. Uh, occasionally I'll drop down to 16 if I fish in a little clearer water or a little bit lighter weight. I'll go down to 16 shooter, but that, that 20 pound shooter is a good place to start. Uh, you can you can drag that weight through all kind of uh, rocks uh, and then when we get down here to the business end i've got the cylindrical style weight and then i'll have two two types of beads i don't think it's real important then i've got the spro power swivel in the middle and uh, i like how that that whole system kind of clacks together uh, i'll start out with a half ounce i'll go up to a five eighths three quarters or even a one ounce if there's not a lot of heavy rocks i'm going to go as heavy of a weight as I can get away with. Uh, the heavier the better. The heavier your weight, the more fish you're gonna catch on this Carolina rig. I can tell you that for a fact. And then we come down here to the leader. Uh, 14 pound shooter is a really good leader. And uh, I'll have it anywhere from, this one's about uh, two and a half to three foot long. I'll, I'll have it anywhere from 18 inches. If the water's kind of stained or I'm fishing around current, I'll have a shorter leader. If the water's real clear or post spawn period, I'll have a three, even a four foot leader, longer, a lot longer leader. Something you, you got to play around a little bit with. Uh, and then on the business end, the Gamakatsu offset shank round bend worm hook is, in my opinion, the hook for almost any bait you can put on a Carolina rig. This is a number three, a three aught. Um, you can catch giant fish. I caught one over seven pounds already this year on this bait and this hook system so this is the uh, missile baits baby destroyer and it's got the two tails on it it's got some appendages hanging off uh, it's a slimmer profile but it's got good action when you just barely move it along the bottom and i think that's real important on a carolina rig i think that's about as good of a carolina rig bait as you can get the only other option i might go to is a straight worm uh, with with absolutely dead action no action Sometimes when, when the bite's real tough or in that real weird post-spawn period, a straight worm is, is really hard to beat as well. And um, so when I'm, I'm fishing that Carolina rig, I'm gonna be fishing it, uh, like I said, heaviest weight as possible. I'm gonna fish it on harder places. You can fish it through grass, lighten up with your weight. You can fish it through grass, grass lines, uh, points, uh, any place you're having hard bottom or even you know, grass mixed with hard bottom, that can be a very effective place for a Carolina rig. And when I'm throwing it, I'm gonna throw it out and I'm gonna reel up my slack and then I'm gonna make small sl slides to the side with that rod. I don't wanna bring the rod way off to the side and get out of position for a hook set. I wanna bring it from straight on, off to the side just a little bit, reel up my slack, bring it off to the side, reel it up, bring up my slack. That's the way you want to fish your Carolina rig. You can feel every little pebble that that comes over with that Sunline shooter. The line is so sensitive, uh, it, you will be amazed if you've never thrown fluorocarbon on a Carolina rig. It is an absolute must. But the Carolina rig is, a, is an absolute fish catcher. And when you get that bite, you want to reel up all of your slack until the line gets tight, and then you're going to lean back into them. That's the whole key with the Carolina rig, is that you're you're, you're dragging it slowly, dragging it slowly, and then when you get that bite, you're gonna reel up your whole slack and then you just wanna basically load the rod up so when that fish shakes his head, uh, he's gonna get that hook in there. You're not gonna have any problem setting the hook and getting hooks in this fish with, with that setup right there, that hook, especially with that bait. 
just not going to have any. I mean, it's almost 100% hookup ratio with that with that setup, just like that. So that's how you fish a Carolina rig. You fish it a little bit more on your offshore uh, fishing, you're going to catch a lot more fish.